Hey, good morning. It's about nine o'clock Friday, July 21st. So I'm in the neighborhood of weirdness right now. Now I just, I was just by the Lake Pike. I saw some beautiful persimmon trees, a lot of fruits on it. Yeah, this would be my dessert anyway. All right. So this is our gorgeous neighborhood I call the weirdness anyway. We'll be developed, you know, in the near future. So that's a Lake Pike there, and over there is a ranch, and then goes further is Walmart and Audi and Walgreens over there, and like Route 83 Springfield uh, Road there anyway. So I'm in this weirdness here, and over there is Frisco Highline Trail. And there's an old barn here. I heard this is like, you know, um, stored for the, you know, uh, for dog training. It seems like some thieves already broke the, the fence here and try to steal things from here. I've always is locked before anyway. Yeah, it's nothing really here to steal anyway. They break the door a few times, but this time just really even you know, broke the main door. Look at here. Just some furniture here. It's all ransacked here. Oh, they have a stool there like what we had in our house. That's all here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think the owner even knows. All right, look at here. This is a mess inside here. There's nothing here, but again, it's ransacked and some old furniture here. Just broke it this year. I know, bad people everywhere. You know, in US too. Okay. I mean, what do you want to steal here? Nothing, right? But the steer try to come in and contempt him here. Anyway, oh my goodness, that's a Halloween mask here. Yeah, look at there's nothing here right now. Probably the, anything important has been, you know, taken away. Yeah, see the door was like smashed a few times before. Yeah, I think even the owner bought this right now. Some old TV there before. Yeah, yep, so it looks like, like a, a workshop before. Look at those water pipes anyway. But again, look at here, it just ransacked. Anyway, yep, this is our wild neighborhood, I said. You can see wild animals here, and you know, and you also see wild relics here. So anyway, that's over there. That's Lake Pike and the neighborhood weirdness. And you have a lot of trees here, and this always reminds me of Africa. Um, you know, I've been to safari. You see animals and beautiful sunrise and sunset in our neighborhood. You know, I came from Oregon. Oregon, a lot of mountains, a lot of hills anyway. Yeah, so, yep, you see the thieves, you know, walk here with the path already and they dump some stuff over there and, yeah, so anyway. But again, nothing, nothing, nothing really precious, just junk there anyway. I don't know why people still try to steal things. Yeah, you don't want people just stay there at night, you know, anyway. I don't think the owner knows anyway, even now. Occasionally, you see the police drive the car around here, kind of patrol a little bit, but it's really... Yeah, so anyway, see? Um, again, the thieves throw, you know, try to steal things. The pipelines, <laughs> the pipes from the from the barn there. See, just dump it here. Uh, you can see a lot of um, stuff left by the road. So I'll show you. So I'm going to Fish Highline Trail here. Um, Okay, I think there's a while, like even last year, they tried to put like electricity back and somebody wanted to restore the place to, for dog training and then the tornado blow all the trees down. I think they just give up. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, so this is Frisco Highline Tree. Of course, the thieves will come from this side. Yeah, okay. Yep, this is Frisco Highline Trail. It's about 35 miles from Springfield we went there, I went there with Nate last week from Willard to Bolivar downtown, 35 miles. So we've been walking in different sections. I mean, the whole way is too long, 35 miles, you know. But each time we walk six miles, I mean, only three miles each section. The reason because back and forth are six miles anyway. Again, this is a Frisco Highline Trail. And this we're gonna be all developed, really, gonna be developed in the near future. Because over there it's highway, 
Highway 13, you see the traffic pass by. And uh, here's a lot of storage houses to, you know, containers. It seems like Americans have a lot of stuff, you know, and our house are big and then when a house are full, they just rent more storage. Okay, anyway, yep. Okay, so we are so blessed in this country. All right, so this Frisco Highline Trail here, um, you know, that's what the trees you see there. But when you walk to uh, other sections, like when we are in uh, Walnut Grove, and both sides are full of trees here because like a city area anyway, just beautiful. Yeah, all right, it's about nine o'clock. I can hear our SPU uh, clock just sound. It's Friday. Okay, and I'm just trying to get my steps in the neighborhood. We're gonna have some rain today. I feel some drizzle here. Anyway, so this is our wild neighborhood weirdness. See the trees here, the brushes are dying because it has been such a drought. Anyway, again, this is our neighborhood. Anyway, um, the weirdness, I call that, you know, people normally don't walk through here. The shortcut, you know, from South Pike to uh, Frisco Highland Trail, anyway. But I enjoy it. I enjoy the tranquility and peacefulness. So that's the bond, the broken bond. That's what I'm trying to say anyway. And thieves try to steal things, but nothing really. So just beautiful here. Just beautiful neighborhood. I got thousands and thousands of photos in our beautiful neighborhood. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunset, beautiful weirdness. You know, there's a hay bales there. I've seen deer, I've seen armadillos, I've seen red fox, I've seen coyotes. Just beautiful, beautiful nature. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Dr. DVD from Bolivar, Missouri. In the neighborhood weirdness by Frisco Highline Trail. Have a great day. God bless you all. Zaijian. Adios. Sayonara. Bye bye.